Randall in Omaha, Nebraska writes to me, my question involves using monitor speakers for home use. Many studios use monitors to listen to the playback of a recording. That way they can make sure everything sounds clean and properly balanced according to the preferences of the artists and the engineers. In theory, wouldn't it make sense to use those same monitors for playback in the home as well? If they can be used to reproduce the recording, especially after editing in the studio, they should be able to do the exact same thing in your home, again, in theory. Yes. Yes, that is a great theory. And in my experience, it doesn't hold a lot of water. So let's, let's make a little bit of a division here. Now, first off, many studios use home speakers for monitors. We do at Octave Records. Abbey Road uses B&Ws. And quite a number of high-end recording studios, in fact, use home speakers, which I think is the only way that it makes sense. Now, many, many, I'd say the vast majority of recording studios use monitor speakers. I think the, uh, what is it, the NS10s or, oh, I can never remember their, their names, but uh, there's a number of really, oh, well, like, like we use over here, the ATCs. Those are very popular. And they are very flat. They are very revealing. They are not very accurate with respect to how it's eventually going to sound on the system that it will be played upon, which I think is a fatal flaw. So fortunately, Recording engineers are like audiophiles. <laughs> and I say fortunate because it allows me to understand them. They have opinions that are extremely strong, many of them based solely in tradition, others based in what works for them. My uh, longtime friend, Keith Johnson, who is a wonderful recording engineer, reference recordings, he built his own monitors, and they do exactly what he wants to get exactly the sound he's looking for, which he then knows when played back on a system like ours or any high-end system will sound terrific. Keith told me, he said, you would never want those in your home. They would sound like crap. They work for me because I'm looking for this, that, and the other thing that I know once I hit that, it's going to interpret well over here. So my best advice is to do what we do. Use the best home speakers to play your recordings. And for recording engineers, use the best home speakers or the closest to what you think the majority of your listeners are going to be using. That only makes sense. At Octave Records, it makes it really easy because who buys Octave Records? Audiophiles. Our community buys Octave Records. They support us because they know we are trying to upgrade the state of the art in recordings as played back on high-end audio systems. And when you hear an Octave recording on your system, you're going to go, whew, just suck in that breath. That sounds amazing. Well. Yeah, <laughs> we used an amazing high-end audio system to get it to sound exactly right. Now it just transfers over to your home and sounds exactly right. It's just something that makes sense. So that's my advice, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks for the question, and good luck out there.